For months, we've been waiting to find out when Walt Disney World is going to open. And you know what? We finally know. As long as the governor approves, it's going to be open July 11th. But should you go? Well, stick around and we'll answer some of those questions. What's up, everybody? It's Nick with Hudat Travel. We're doing another Disney edition. And if you like these type of videos, please give it a huge thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And what really helps my channel out is if you'd subscribe and hit that bell notifications to get notified when I release new content. So I have been seeing this question everywhere. Should I go to Walt Disney World when they open? And I have seen a ton of people say, no, absolutely not. I'm not gonna wear a mask there, it's gonna be too hot. Or why, it's taking away all the magic because there's no character interactions. And now they've eliminated Fast Pass Plus and they've taken away all of our dining. But there's a lot more magic than just those things. So here's some things to think about if you're really going to want to go and see things the way they are with that first week or even that first month, or maybe even that first year. Now, health and safety has been at the forefront of this entire pandemic. We wanna make sure that you are healthy and safe, but you know what? Only you know about your own health. If you have an underlying condition, well, maybe you shouldn't go to Walt Disney or any other large group gatherings. But that doesn't mean that people who don't have underlying issues shouldn't go. Really, it's about the mitigation of the risk factors. Now, Disney is trying to mitigate some of those risk factors by taking the temperature, doing contactless payments, and really trying to make sure that social distancing is happening to take those risks and just make them smaller. Now, the park isn't your only worry. You've got to get there. Now, for some people, you're able to drive there. And you know what? I really envy you because I have to get on at least one plane, if not two, and be in a tin can with a bunch of people that may or may not be sick. Now for me, I did create a video about how to wipe down your seat to not get sick. I'll link that and above. And that's what I do. I minimize those risk factors to be able to travel. Now I use hand sanitizer. I wipe down my seats. I do everything that I can to try to stay as healthy as possible. But what about your hotel room? Well, again, you can wipe that down. You can even ask to not have maid service to be able to minimize the amount of people that are in your room. Now, really, it comes down to your amount of risk that you're willing to take. Are you a conservative person or more adventurous? If you're more adventurous, well, then you may wanna go. It really comes down to you and no one else can answer this question. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Is it worth the risk to go to any place, to Disney, to Universal, even out shopping sometimes it feels. Now here's the thing. There is a mutual responsibility. It's not just Disney's responsibility to make sure you're safe. You need to make sure that you're safe as well. This means maybe not holding the handrail every single time and then wiping your eyes. It means that you're going to have to take responsibility to make sure that you've washed and sanitized and done everything you can for your hands and just be mindful of all of this. If you're not willing to take that risk, again, that's up to you. Now, there are tons of personal considerations to think about while they're deciding if you would like to go or not to go. Now, really, if your idea of the perfect trip is to get to meet every character and the meet and greets, well, obviously, now is not the time to go. But if your idea is getting the perfect picture of the castle with no one in the way, well, this might be the time to go. To me, I think it's going to be really interesting to see how a line that is separated by six foot per person is going to be, considering... I get kind of annoyed when people hit me with their backpack or scup on my ankles or all of that. So maybe a six foot line is gonna be really nice. But what we have to remember in this first couple months is that Disney is trying to figure all of it out as well. There is no written plan before this to deal with this type of thing. 
Sure, we have Shanghai that's opened up and that's going to give us some ideas, but really bear with them. And that magic comes from you, not just from Disney. Now, of course, you've got different schools of thoughts. You have the people that are definitely going back right away. And you know what? I'll be honest. I'm one of those. I've got an annual pass and I already have hotel reservations for opening day. I really hope that I'm able to get through the reservation system and be able to show up. Now you also have those people that are the, well, I'm going to wait and see what happens. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. And there's other people that are absolutely adamantly against going for maybe a year or two. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. You have to decide what's best for you and your family. And no one can tell you that that's wrong when you think that's what's best. But on that same token, it's not fair for you to tell somebody else what's best for them. For sure, no matter if you decide to go or if you don't go, this is a surreal time. And it is a time that you're probably going to tell your grandkids about even. And you know what? As I said, for me, my family, we've decided to go. I will share all of my experiences and what I thought about it as long as we get to go as soon as I can on the channel, of course. But you know what, guys? I want everybody to stay safe and stay happy. Again, I'm Nick from Houdat Travel. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And honestly, what really helps me out if you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Have a great day, and we'll see you real soon.